a single step beyond the limits of the Constitution is a step too far. Thomas Jefferson, in his 1791 opinion on the constitutionality of a national bank, put it like this. To take a single step beyond the boundaries thus specially drawn around the powers of Congress is to take possession of a boundless field of power no longer susceptible of any definition. Jefferson understood the danger of precedent. Once you allow government any reason to go beyond its limits, it's going to do it again and again and again, and you know it, again. They'll never, ever stop. This was a widely understood principle for the founders and old revolutionaries. John Dickinson, the penman of the American Revolution, put it this way in his broadside urging noncompliance to the Stamp Act in 1765. If you comply with the act by using stamped papers, you fix, you rivet perpetual chains upon your unhappy country. You unnecessarily, voluntarily establish the detestable precedent, which those who have forged your fetters ardently wish for, to varnish the future exercise of this new claimed authority. Dickinson repeated this warning about precedent in his 1767 Letters from a Farmer in Pennsylvania, the most widely read documents on American liberty up until publication of Thomas Paine's Common Sense in 1776. And quoting Dickinson, Samuel Adams emphasized this same view. When an act injurious to freedom has been once done and the people bear it, the repetition of it is most likely to meet with submission. Unfortunately today, most people seem to be okay with usurpations of power, acts that go beyond the limits of the Constitution, as long as it's done by their team, their guy, or if they like the policy. But this kind of short-term thinking is like voluntarily disarming yourself and handing a loaded weapon to your enemy. George Washington certainly understood this and even put it in those kinds of terms in his farewell address in 1796. Let there be no change by usurpation, for though this, in one instance, may be the instrument of good, it is the customary weapon by which free governments are destroyed. The precedent must always greatly overbalance in permanent evil any partial or transient benefit which the use can at any time yield. I think James Otis Jr. summed it up best. It is of the utmost consequence that we boldly oppose the least infraction of our charter and rights. <laughs>